Today we're going to be talking about uh, installing Panda Crazy and PC Helper, which is Panda Crazy Helper. Both of these are scripts that are highly useful on Mechanical Turk. And this is a, another episode in our series A to Z, How to Be a Successful MTurk Worker in 2020. Uh, to install these apps, you should go to the link that you can see right here, and you will find this chart. Here you find JR Panda Crazy. Click to download that here. PC Helper OHS Modified. This is a special modified version of PC Helper specifically for our Hit Stop members. You can download that here. Uh, we recommend that you use our download service and then we will go straight into learning how to use both Panda Crazy and Panda Crazy Helper to help you make more money in your MTurk work. Yes, this is Panda Crazy. Of course, there's nothing in it right now, and I'm just going to show you basically how you need to use it. Now, the first thing that's important to know using Panda Crazy is it needs to be in its own window. Not its own tab, but its own window in order to be useful. It won't work right and will give you lots of issues if you insist on trying to put it just in its own tab. So do yourself a favor keep it out in its own window. Now how I do that is I minimize it to a particular size that I like which is about like this on my screen so that I can keep it up so I can look at it and anything else that I'm working on and I keep it running like that all day long. So once I have that up like that then I'll go back to a scraper. In my case I use Hit Forker. Here's Hit Forker, it's up and running. You can use Hit Forker, Hit Scraper, Hit Finder. There's several different scrapers to get and use. But this is the one that I use, and I use this one because it, of all of the scrapers, it seems to be the most well adapted and friendly to use with Panda Crazy. And of course, these are the hits that are coming up that are, have been adjusted to the parameters that I'm looking for. And how I'll interact with Panda Crazy is right over here in this little column that says Panda. You see a P and an O. Those are buttons that you can click. And if you click P, it adds a Panda. If you click O, it adds a Once Panda. Now, there are three basically different types of Pandas. There is the regular Panda, which would be the one that would you would get when you hit P. That one will get will try to search for and see it caught it right there. Now as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. It's going to attempt to find that one hit over and over and over as many times as it can and accept it for me until it either runs out or fills up my queue. Now, in the queue down here, you can see at this part right here where it says six, it's already caught six of these, and then I turned it off. Uh, it would keep filling it until it got up to 25, because 25 hits is the maximum number of hits you can have in your queue. Now, that would be useful if you're working on a batch. With a, what a batch is, is basically a hit that is designed for you to repeat doing that same hit over and over and over again, possibly even hundreds of times. A lot of people do a lot more of that type of hit. I tend to not do as many of a batch and I typically will use the once panda more often. So a hit comes up and I'll hit the O. Now it'll, it will, I'm going to go ahead and knock out all of these right here so that I'm clear again. Now this right here is the same pan that I had up. If I hit collect again, it'll stop, start collecting them over and over and over again. 
If I only want to get one, I would have just hit the once panda. Now what the once panda does is it does the same search for the same one hit, but it only looks for it once. As soon as it collects it once, it turns itself off. So I'll hit that. That's a once panda. You can see they look exactly the same in color, for example. And this one's looking. It's looking seven, eight, nine, ten times. It's looking every 1.005 milliseconds repeatedly for this same one hit. And it will continue to do so until I turn it off, pause it, or get rid of it. Now there's another type of hit, uh, which is called a requester hit. Now the easiest way for you to get a requester hit is for you to use our website at rhitstop.com in the daily hits thread bring that up and you can see for example this right here is where someone has posted a hit to our board and there'll be all these all down through here on any day and the script that I had you install that was called PC Helper that creates these three buttons right here Panda, Wants, and Requester. Now Panda and Wants buttons here are exactly the same as they were over here in HitForker. If I hit Panda, it will search for this hit over and over and over again and catch as many as it can. If I hit Once, it'll set up a Once Panda and only find one if it can. If I hit requester it creates a requester panda and I'll create one for this one click that and you can see it's colored slightly differently that color means it's a requester panda now what that's doing now is it is looking not for this one specific hit but for any hit by this one certain requester this comes in handy a lot of times when Request, a requester would put up a lot of different hits that are slightly different from one another and you want to catch any one of them that you can find for example so you have either have the choice that you could hit you know if there were 10 different ones you could hit 10 different once pandas and fill up your old panda crazy with that or you could just hit the requester panda and have it look for any hit by that requester. Now when you're over here on Panda Crazy you can turn your pandas on and off just by that's clicking the collect button that's off now it's back on that's off. Okay now then let us see the next thing the next thing that we'll talk about here is the number of pandas that you have running. Now, if you only have one panda running, then it is going to doing a repeated search on that one panda every about every second here in this case. If you have two, it will search for one this second and then the second here and then on the third second this one. So the more pandas you have running, the less often it is searching for that panda. So there reaches a limit where you can have too many pandas running to really be doing you any good. And that limit is usually about six. Now I usually personally don't really like to run more than about four. That means each panda is being searched every four seconds. Uh, usually, if it gets to be more than that, it's not coming back and searching often enough to really be able to catch a hit that you're interested in. So what you'll have to do is either, if you have too many of them, you'll have to come up and you'll have to turn one off or delete it by hitting this X here. That deletes a panda. And keep it down under six for sure would be my advice on that and I like I said I usually like to keep it at about four you can run 
I don't believe that there is an actual limit to how many pandas you can run, but it just becomes useless after about six pandas running and you need to go back and turn it off. So what I do is I will usually let mine run. For example, I let this turn these off. I let this one run and I keep catching it. I let this one run and it will keep doing it. And right here you see 238, 239, 240. That's how many times it's searched for it. When that number gets to about a thousand, in my opinion, the likelihood that you're going to catch that hit is pretty low. So you probably would be better off turning it off. When it's busy on MTurk and you, uh, there are a lot of new hits coming up over and over and over again, then you might want to turn them off at about 500. Because when you have six running, it's going to take a lot longer for that to get to 500 because it's right now it's clicking off one every second. It'd be one every six seconds for that. So you really have to keep it throttled back to where it is searching for them often enough for it to really do you any good. So typically, once I get this going, like I said, I'll knock these out to illustrate my point. Once I get these going, I basically, I'll bring up my hit forker and I'll sit here on this screen right like it is right here. And I will sit here and I will look. Here's one that came up 75 cents. Do I want that? Yes. Do I want it over and over again? Usually not. So I'll hit once and I'll get me one right there. There, I just caught it. Okay, and there's another one. Do I want that? Yeah, I want that once. Maybe this one once. Maybe this one once. Okay, so I'm going to start catching some of these. Some of these I won't catch. Sometimes I won't catch any of them. Sometimes I'll catch every one of them all at once. But they fill up in your queue. And you have to be careful about how many you get because this one's got 14 minutes to complete. Right here, you can see that. This one's got 29 minutes. This one's got an hour. So I've got to complete one, two, three of these on time so that they don't expire on me. Now, if you have too much, want to get rid of one, want to return in the middle of it, you can just hit return like this right here. That'll return the hit once you confirm it. If you want to continue to work on it, continue to work on it like that. And this is the way I work. Now that I've got these up right here, I get a lot of my hits off of the board that I wouldn't even see on a scraper like Hit Forker. And there is a way that you can contribute to the board as well. And uh, you can start putting up links to hits on the board and help others out as the same way that you can help yourself out. And that's about all there is to it on the basic usage of Panda Crazy. There are some other uh, fine-tuning things. You can adjust your uh, elapsed time. You can reset your timer. You can change things inside. You can change the, uh, the uh, sounds that, you, that pop up to alert you when you've caught a panda. I don't have my sound on right now or it would have boinged whenever I'd caught a panda. It'll alert you to that. Uh, it's also good to have while I'm working on a hit over here in, in this screen, I'll still have their timer over here showing me you know, how much time I've got left. 27 minutes, 26 seconds left to complete that hit. So Panda Crazy is a very, very useful tool I would not turk without it. I know a few people that do. In a way, I think they're a little bit crazy because it is so useful. This is probably the single most useful tool for mTurk that I use. And it's probably slightly more useful than a scraper itself, and that's saying a lot. If this video has been of help to you, please be sure to click subscribe and to check out our other videos on YouTube. If you'd like to increase the amount of income you're making on Mechanical Turk, one of the best ways is to become a member of an online worker group. 
There are several of these groups on the internet, but of course I recommend ours at ourhitstop.com. We aren't called the friendliest MTurk worker board on the web for nothing. Membership is free, so stop by and learn from hundreds of experienced Turkers. I can't guarantee how much, but I can guarantee that you'll learn how to make more money by being a part of our group. We also have some exclusive tools that you won't find anywhere else that can dramatically increase your earnings now.